Hello, so I'm going to show you how you break apart your Chip Whisper light board into two parts. Uh, so you'll notice here I do not have the standoffs mounted. Uh, this is because when we do the flexing we don't want the standoffs to put all the pressure on those points. We want to be able to uh, press it against something evenly. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be breaking it, uh, as we're going to be breaking it along these holes here, we want to pre-score them a little bit. Uh, this is especially important on the bottom. All of the traces run between these holes and if you don't score them uh, you'll end up with them sort of half ripped off which they're designed such that it won't continue to rip into the board uh, but it might short out something. So uh, I'm going to put it on some sort of padding material when I do this because I don't want to break off parts in the top or bottom. Um, and all I'm going to use is a, you know, box cutter, exacto knife, something like that, whatever you have. Um, and I'm just going to make a few passes down like this. And you want to make sure you cut the traces so you can sort of, you know, go back and forth. Um, just be careful you don't jab into anywhere else in the board. So. Try to keep it right in line with these traces. Um, and so the bottom is the real important part because you want to cut those traces. It doesn't hurt to score the top a little just to make sure you get a nice clean break. So I'll do here. And there was a handful of ground connections on the top and back too, I believe. So. All right, so there we go. So the final, now um, all we'll do is we'll snap off this section. And to do that, I'm just going to snap it over some sort of sharp edge. Uh, you wanna be careful because you know there's lots of parts in the bottom uh, soldered on, so you don't want to uh, do anything that'll push them off. So I'm gonna use as an example a uh, block piece of a two by four I happen to have around, and I'll just sort of line up um, with the edge, so you could use a book, the edge of a desk, anything you have like that, and just apply an even pressure down. And you want to make sure, so you sort of have to hold this whole section here while applying even pressure on this half. And there you go. So it's a little bit scary, um, but as long as you want to make sure you hold down everything here um, and this wood's nice because it's not too hard a surface to knock off stuff on the bottom uh, so I, I don't know if I would do this on an all metal desk for example or if you do put down a piece of cardboard first um, but what you should end up with is two sections like this and now you can reconnect them with cable or anything else